The desired values for alignment, cant and gradient must be specified so that a particular track can be processed. These values are taken by the leading wagon operator from the track survey chart of the customer. The operator must transfer the requirements of the track survey chart to the AGC before work is started. Once the toolbar Create a new target geometry file has been selected, the main window is divided into a graphics window and a table window. In the table window, the leading wagon operator indicates the geometry of the track from the track survey chart. For example, the positioning of a change in geometry, how long it is, or the cant and radius that are present. In parallel, this input is displayed graphically in the graphics window. If the user does not enter plausible values, the program automatically displays an error. The operator confirms the input error and can compare the entered values with the target geometry and, if necessary, correct them immediately. The representation in the graphics window is always from left to right. The alignment, the cant and the gradient. After the input has been completed, the target geometry file must be saved. If work is to be done, the working mode is started. In the window that opens, the file with the target geometry is selected and the start and end location specified. After confirming the entries with OK, the ALG changes immediately into working mode. A window appears in the upper area. In this, among other things, the current location and set points are displayed. In the lower graphics window, a blue bar indicates the position of the leading wagon.